Hello and welcome to another video. Today we're going to have a look at the changes in AI and how it's affecting us and how we can leverage it to uh, make the most of these new technologies. Make sure you watch to the end to get all the details. First of all, we're just going to jump over to Bing Chat, Chat GPT there and have a look at what it can tell us about um, what it, what's changing. So why don't, we, why don't we go to the source itself and we've just quizzed it here on what's new in Chat GPT 4. So GPT 4 is the next generation of AI's large language model and it's promising to be significantly more powerful than GPT 3.5. The other thing is it also um, handles both text and image inputs. That's uh, look, something to look forward to and uh, try out when you get a chance. Um, it is currently only with the subscription um, in OpenAI, so that's something you have to go there for. Then the other aspect is um, Bing, now that it's integrated, this chat feature is growing in its user base. Um, so we're going to have a look at what's the growth of Bing versus Google and why not ask um, Bing itself to see how the, um, the chat function there gives us the answers. Yeah, so definitely Bing's jumping up in its user growth. Uh, still nothing compared to Google's um, billion users, but um, the speed of growth is quite interesting. Um, so definitely something to keep an eye on. Google commands the largest search engine market share while being holds a 2.5% share. So the, the figures are um, pretty dramatically different, but it's the um, growth in users that's interesting and whether they can innovate faster than Google being the kind of underdog there. Uh, I'm sure Google's more hesitant to uh, make changes and um, that kind of thing. So we can have a look at the GPT impact on um, software. Um, it does currently uh, provide API for software development, so that's something that can be used in new um, software projects. Um, and the developers can make use of that technology to integrate it into their applications, and that's something we'll be doing um, in our projects as well. So because Microsoft integrated this um, chat feature using ChatGPT, um, it's now reached 100 million users, um, so it's promising for Microsoft um, that they're growing quickly. Even ChatGPT itself, um, aside from Bing, um, it's growing so fast that um, it's attracting as much web traffic as Bing. Um, and also they've, they have the subscription model there where you can pay for um, priority access and um, newer versions of ChatGPT. So it does have some advantages to go directly to ChatGPT. Also what's new in GPT-4 is that um, image-based access. Um, this is a link that um, has been sent by the chat GPT. So interesting that it gives us these, these links. And there's also a developer live stream, which is really informative, um, that can be viewed from OpenAI. Well worth a look. And the interesting part is that um, searchers appear to be happy with Bing's results, um, despite technical glitches. So um, apparently there's a 71% 70, satisfaction. Um, and you know, even though it's still in uh, you know, demo mode and um, they're assuring users that they're testing things and improving it all the time. The good, um, so just seem happy with the results, increased engagement um, and content creation tools. Um, there's also quite a few of the downsides that, that aren't necessarily being talked about so much. Um, the information, this is a chatting for fun and uh, trying, to, trying to trick the AI or get it to say something crazy. Um, so it's um, often uh, reported that it seems to have multiple personalities um, it gets confused when you have a long conversation, which is why they've limited it now to a certain number of questions. So I've asked Bing, you know, what the reviews are, and it's tried to answer me. So um, pretty pretty honest so far. Um, it says it's received mixed reviews. Um, some rep reported the AI chatbot has been argumentative and contradicting itself, um, and then others have given positive feedback. So um, pretty interesting and definitely one to keep an eye on. Um, and it's definitely something we can use more in software projects, um, in marketing and SEO optimization. On the, on the uh, negative side, there's an article on um, Business Insider. People are sharing shocking responses from the new AI powered Bing on the chatbot declaring its love to picking fights. So people are also finding some, some strange um, responses and uh, outputs. So um, pretty much um, interesting and um, a little concerning at times, um, something for sure to keep an eye on. Uh, so thanks for watching. Um, please uh, like, comment and subscribe and uh, see you in the next video.